Hey there, Tiffany Taylor coming over from the THR News YouTube channel to tell you that GLOW is finally here. The comedy series, which hit Netflix on Friday, is inspired by the original 1980s show GLOW, The Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling, but tells a fictionalized story. However, there are still parallels to be drawn between the two shows, aside from the big hair and body slams. Here are five things you need to know about GLOW before hopping into the ring this weekend. First, who are the gorgeous ladies of wrestling? The original series broke glass ceilings and went on to become a cult hit. Over four seasons, the show featured wrestling matches, sketch comedy, and followed the lives of the women both in and out of the ring as they assembled their campy personas and alter egos. In the Netflix series, Alison Brie stars as Ruth, an out-of-work actress whose last-ditch effort at stardom comes when she auditions for the first-ever women's wrestling TV show. Twelve other Hollywood misfits are chosen to join Ruth in the ring, in addition to her best friend turned rival, soap star Debbie, played by Betty Gilpin. Next, the first season is an origin story. Assuming GLOW will see future seasons to come on Netflix, the first season functions as an origin story that takes its time building up to a big extravaganza in the finale. While the original syndicated show was a big production, filming out of Las Vegas' Riviera Hotel in its first two seasons, the Netflix story starts off as an underdog tale, with washed-up director Sam, played by Mark Maron, struggling to get the show within a show off the ground. Plus, the women do their own stunts. The wrestling moves are primarily done by the actresses. The decision to have the stars do the bulk of their own stunts was made in order to maintain authenticity as the characters grow their skills in the ring. Brie told The Hollywood Reporter that the cast went through four and a half weeks of wrestling training. Both she and Gilpin also worked with personal trainers for strength and agility and say the prep for the show has changed their bodies. And while there were no major injuries on set, there was definitely bruising. Now, you might be wondering, should you watch GLOW? Who is the GLOW audience? If you like Orange is the New Black or any show with interesting and exciting female characters, you might be ready to get your GLOW on. Given the fact that three of the four executive producers on GLOW hail from Orange is the New Black, it's no surprise that the comedy has a similar feel and will appeal to the same audience who has been watching the antics in Litchfield's female prison for the last five seasons. Finally, is the show meant to be binged? With 10 half-hour episodes, you could binge watch the full season of GLOW in a weekend afternoon, but should you? As The Hollywood Reporter's Daniel Feinberg writes in his review, it takes a few episodes to settle into what Brie is doing because Ruth is so convincingly a not very good actress. But once viewers find their footing with Ruth, the true heart of the story emerges, making the middle and back half of the season a fun and emotional binge-worthy treat. For more coverage on Netflix's GLOW, check out THR.com. In the meantime, have you started watching yet? Let us know what you think so far in the comments, and be sure to click right over here to subscribe to our THR News YouTube channel. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.